Now let's stay with the health sector for a moment as President Muhammadu Bari has blamed the unfriendly attitude of health workers to patients as the major factor responsible for the distrust of Nigerians in the country's health system, which pushes them to foreign countries to seek better health care services. The president made this known at the official commissioning of an international conference center and telemedicine hall and six other projects at the Federal Medical Center at Biokuta Begusek Capital. Now, correspondent John Felix tells us more. The telemedicine hall is expected to house not less than 500 health experts, as well as ensure health care services reach the people in the grassroots. Speaking at the commissioning ceremony, the president laments the unhygienic and lack of housekeeping standards by caregivers. He says their hostile attitude have resulted in the loss of confidence of Nigerians in the health system even more than the lack of the equipment. Buari speaking through the Minister of Health, Dr. Osagi Hehaniri, emphasized the need for continuous training and retraining of healthcare workers to deliver quality healthcare services to Nigerians. The Chairman of Senate Committee on Health assures that the bill before the National Assembly for the establishment of the University of Medicine, Abel Kuta, will be passed by April. We have a lot of work to do in that regard. And I want to believe that the managers of our hospitals, after such laudable, fantastic infrastructure investments, will now begin to pay attention not only to improving staff harmony and welfare, but to retraining health care givers for even better professionalism that delivers service in a more conducive and courteous atmosphere based on the lessons we learn from our traditional African hospitality. The bill on Ogun State, uh, I mean, University of Medical Sciences, Abe Okuta, hopefully will be passed in the Senate by April, we hope when we resume from Easter, we'll submit our report. So if you come for concurrence before you. I want to assure this house that we are going to have the public hearing next week and the report will be ready for presentation to the Senate in April. So what will remain is for the house to concur. Speaking on the project, the medical director of FMC Abe Okuta, Professor Adewale Musa Olomu, says the center is the first in the country to have a telemedicine hall. He adds that the center has successfully performed more than 300 brain tumor surgeries since the establishment of the neurosurgical and cardiothoracic units. Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodun in his address assures the center of the continued support of his administration. Attached to this is also a telemedicine center. And we are very proud to tell you that we are the first in the country to have a functional telemedicine center. This will be displayed to everybody. And hence, it is to show that the dividends of democracy are getting to the grassroots and where it is intended. Telemedicine has become an innovation and part of advanced technology and artificial intelligence, which is now part of our medical care system and process. The facts are that with increasing population, stiff competition between the different sectors of the economy for allocation from the already scarce resources, security challenges, we must devise innovative approaches and provide easier and affordable access to medical care, particularly at our deserved communities. Other dignitaries at the event included the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gwajabia Mila, former governor of Ongo State, Chief Olusegun Oshoba, the Alaki of Egbaland, Oba Adedotun Aremugbadebo, the Minister of State for Health, Senator Olorunimbe Mamora, amongst others. From Abel Kota, the State Capital, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television News.